So in this part of our uh, leak detection and repair series, we're going to do a bond beam break. So this pool has two bond beam breaks. One of them happens to be over here, and we found that you could feel it. So we're going to take it literally from the bond beam up. But when we did our leak detection over here, we were conclusive. The pool water level was up to here. Um, we had our pool scope over here. We were hearing leaks, and we have one in the spa that we're going to show you. Um, those were conclusive to be leaking, so we're going to show you how we do a proper beam repair, how we take it from the crack up, remove the coping, remove the tile, bring it down to good solid gunite, repair it, and do what we have to do. So this is what we're going to show you, this is how we're going to get it done, so take a look. So we cut our control joints to keep everything from chipping up. Again, if we cut, we can control where we're going to wind up chipping. Then we chip it up, being careful not to uh, try to get too far into the plaster. Look, we have to remove everything from the beam break up. We need to get down to clean gunite, and we need to remove everything, get everything dirty, get everything that's in there, even old rusted steel, out of the way. So chip it all up till it's all cleaned out. Sometimes it comes out in large pieces. And again, we're going to try to save some of that tile. Next thing we do is we install our rebar. So what we do is we drill in every couple of inches. In this case, it was about every six to eight inches. And we install steel dowels into the actual good gunite. So where the bond beam broke off, we're gonna install those dowels and then we're gonna tie them together by a tie rod that's going across and put multiples in. Next thing we do is we board form. So in order to pour a new bond beam, we're gonna board form the front, and we're gonna board form the back so that it allows us to pour concrete in. And now with that steel in there and with a nice clean beam, we're gonna get a good chemical bond. We're gonna get a good adhesion to the existing gunite that's there. After that, we're gonna pull our board forms off and get ready to tile. Once we pull our board forms up, we leave that little lip that you have there so that the tile fit in just perfect. Our board was about the thickness of the tile, as you could see that lip that we left there. Next thing we do is we tile. So again, we're just gonna use thin set. We're gonna float it. We're gonna scratch it with a notch trowel. We're gonna set all our tile. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our coping. We're gonna set our coping and then we're gonna regrout it all. We just use the same spec mix that we set it with and we're gonna rub that spec mix kind of like a grout all the way in and now we're gonna move on. So now we have our spa. We, did the, we have a beam break in the spa as well. We have previous repairs with bubble gum, two-part epoxy, hydraulic cement. We give you some close-ups so you could actually see the structural crack. Again, we're gonna do our cutting and chipping controlled. We're gonna try to do as least damage as possible. We're gonna chip down from the crack all the way up. We're gonna cut the tile here and we're gonna to try to save them. We're gonna lay them out and save them the best we can because again, this is impossible to match. So now the hard part is, is chipping down from the crack up. We're gonna work our way down and then we're gonna get in from the crack and we're gonna clean that all up. This is soft material here. Any rebar that was here was rotted out as we showed. And uh, we're gonna keep cleaning it up from that crack up. And this is what it kind of looks like. So now we broke this down. This is the part of the bond beam in the spa that we showed you previous pictures of before. This is the bond, this is the, the steel that's tying the bond beam. And you can see that it's all rotted out and it's all rusted from the chemical penetration. So it was leaking, water was getting to this rebar. But look how this pool is designed. The other back part of that bond beam is going literally under this deck portion. So when they, whoever did this steel and they tied this steel and shot this gunite, they don't have the bond beam where it's supposed to be, which is right here and then tying to this side. It's back here, as you can see it if I dig it out for you. So again, this lasted for a long time. This pool's gotta be 30 years old. Um, however, this is the reason why we had this particular bond beam failure. So now we're gonna epoxy dowel our rebar into clean gunite as we did in the first repair. We wanna get a solid type, solid bond. So. We're gonna board form and we're gonna get everything ready, but we wanna show you how we tie. So will we leave some existing rebar in there? Yes, we're gonna put new in there, but anytime we could save any rebar, clean it up, we will. We're gonna tie our rebar to our bond, to our bonded steel dowel so that we get a really good adhesion for when we pour it with concrete. 
After we pour it, we're going to pop our board forms off. And again, thickness of board forms, approximately thickness of tile. Now we have a solid beam to work with. We're going to lay out our brick. We're going to lay out our tile. We're going to do what we need to do as far as grouting them once we get them in. And uh, then we're going to do our patch. We're going to do a pebble tech patch as, uh, and we're going to match it the rest best we can with the rest of the pool. We're going to wash it down so that we get a nice exposure and this is what it looks like when we're finished. I hope you like this, one, this video of our turning leaks into repairs. Check out our website at www.leaktronics.com for more.